Hi everyone, it's Ken LaRue from the Shotgun Team, and here's your tip for today in our 30 tips in 30 days. This tip is going to focus on some hotkeys available to you inside of RV. Now we had an earlier video about RV, and we talked about all the hotkeys and the different options you had for playing back your media. This one's going to focus more on setting in and out marks, setting markers, how to play back within those in and out markers, how to control them, and how to navigate between your different markers that you manually set up, and how to navigate between the in and out marks. We already know from earlier that we hit the space bar, we start to play back our sequence, right? hit the space bar when you stop it. Now, very often while you're doing review or you're in a session, you want to set in and out markers to control what frames you're going to be playing back. That's obviously a common thing. You could do that by going to the edit menu, coming down to mark in range, and you've got your different options for setting your in and out markers. But we're going to use the hotkeys. To set the in marker is the open bracket. To set your out marker is the close bracket. So, I'm going to hit the space bar to start my playback. I hit the open bracket. I set my in mark. I wait, and then I hit the close bracket, and I set my out mark. Now you'll notice that the frames that are playing back are only the frames within my in and out marker. This makes sense. Great. I hit the space bar to stop the playback. If I want to clear my in and out markers, I hit the backslash key. Now you'll notice that the in and out markers actually have been set to the very first frame and the very last frame of my sequence. Now for demonstration, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit the open bracket, scrub over and hit the close bracket. So now I've set in and out markers again. And you can come along and you can grab just the edge of the in and out marker and you can drag it manually to put it at a frame that you want it to be. I'll hit the backslash key again to clear my in and out markers. Now I'm going to talk about some options you have for setting the in and out marks based on the duration of the clips you have in your sequence. Right now, keep in mind that if I hold the option key on my Mac or alt key on Windows and Linux, and I use my left and right arrow key, I can navigate to the first frame of each one of the clips in my sequence. I use the left arrow key, I go backwards to the first frame of each clip in the sequence. Now, if I hold the control key on Windows or Linux or the command key on my Mac and I use my right arrow key, not only do I jump to the first frame of a clip, I also set the in and out markers to match the duration of that clip in my sequence. So again, I'm holding command and I'll hit the left arrow key. I navigate to the first frame of that clip, the previous clip, but I set the in and out marks based on that clip. Now, if I want to expand my in and out markers to encompass the previous and the next clip, I can hold my command key and hit the up arrow key. Now you'll notice that my in and out markers are based on the three clips, the one that I originally had set and the two adjacent to it. I could continue to do that if I want to add more. So if I hold command and hit the up arrow key again, you'll see now I've got five clips inside my in and out markers. If I hold the command and hit the down arrow key, we start to subtract clips from within the in and out. Again, I'll hold the command and hit the down arrow key, and I'm back to having my in and out markers set based on the frames of this one clip. I'll hit the backslash key once again to clear my in and out markers. Now there's times you want to put manual markers, not markers for in and out, just specific manual markers. And you can do that by going up to the edit menu and choosing mark frame. Or we can use the hotkey of M. So I'll scrub back over here. I'm going to hit the space bar to start the playback. I'll hit the M key. I'll wait a little bit. I'll hit another M key. And then again, I'm just going to randomly put different markers where I want them while the playback is taking place. Okay, so let's just do one more. All right, that's good. Stop the playback. So I've put several random markers. Let me scrub back to a frame prior to the first marker. Now, I'm going to do the same thing I did a second ago. I'm going to hold the command key and I'll hit the right arrow key. Notice what just happened. The frames from the first frame to the first marker that I created now are set as my in and out markers. If I hold command and hit the right arrow key, the next set of frames within the next group of markers is set as our in and out. Again, command, right arrow key, right arrow key. So now instead of setting the in and out markers based on the in and outs of the current selected clip, it's setting them based on the markers that I have put inside my timeline. I can hold the command key and start using the right arrow key. 
and we'll navigate backwards. And again, it's doing the same thing. It's setting our in and outs based on the markers. And if you want to use option and the right and left arrow key, you can navigate to the individual markers without changing the in and out marks. So whenever you have manual markers set, RV is going to ignore the in and outs of the individual clips. When you're using the hopped keys of option and right and left arrow, command right and left arrow. But if I go back up to my edit menu and I choose clear all marks, all my markers are now gone. If I hit the backslash key, I clear away all my in and out markers. I hold the option key. I use my left and right arrows. Once again, I'm going to navigate to the first frame of each clip. Holding the command and using my left and right arrow keys, I'm going to navigate plus. I'm going to be adjusting my in and out markers. All right, so that's how you can use your in and out markers, your manual markers, all either from a menu or from hotkeys to set them, navigate to them, and play back between them. All right, that's our tip for today. 30 tips in 30 days.